Today I'm going to be cooking um, Edo's. These are Edo's. This is what it looks like. These are the normal size uh, they come in. Uh, what you want to do is peel these, like something like potato. You want to peel these and put it in a pot of water. You know, you want to wash it and leave it in a pot of water until you're ready to cook it because it's going to change color when as soon as you peel it. And you can, there's different ways you can cook this. You can, um, boil it and make a sauce and on and pour the sauce on it and eat it like that or you can um, you can fry it like chips like plantain chips or uh, potato potato chips or you can just boil it and fry it and make some star fry and eat it on with that as a side dish there's different ways but today I'm gonna cook this with um, with some curry powder and different ingredients okay so this is what it looks like when I finish peeling it and I wash it and um, you're gonna see some spots in it but that's that's how it is and if you see some um, some soft spots in it you wanna cut it out or throw it away if, if it's not good and you wanna cut off like the like big spots on it you want to wash these and you want to cut it up and leave it in some water I chopped it up already and it's in some water until I'm ready to cook it and these sizes you want to chop it up the ingredients I'm going to be using today so I got some um, some parsley, uh, some celery here, and some parsley, basil, onion, half an onion, like four cloves of garlic, hot pepper, um, scallion, like three pieces, and you can use black pepper, whatever ingredients you like. I'm using also salt like um, like half a tablespoon of salt, regular salt and I'm going to be using some um, paprika powder also to cook with. Ok and over here I have some um, curry powder, this is like two tablespoons I think and some masala and that's like one teaspoon. Uh, you can use less or more curry powder also with the masala you can use less or more depends how you like it how spicy you want it you know the, what kind of flavor you, you want okay I have my cooking pan on it's on high heat I have like three tablespoons of vegetable cooking oil I'm gonna add my um, curry powder spices and the masala spice and all my other ingredients into the hot oil and I'm gonna put it on medium heat if it's too hot you wanna put it on um, low heat you don't wanna burn the uh, curry powder and stuff the spices. Okay, I'm adding the rest of the You wanna add it and pour it in very easy, you don't want it to splatter on you. You can put on a protective eyeglasses to the hot oil. Don't burn me or get on your face and eyes and stuff like that. Right now it's on low heat. You can open it back to medium heat and let it uh, like cook a little bit. Fry, simmer, leave it to simmer. 
for like a minute, two minutes or so. Okay, so a couple minutes before you put on your cooking pan and put your ingredients to simmer, you want to drain the water out from this and then you're going to add this in. Okay, you want to put it on a slow heat and you want to cover it so you can uh, you know, cook a little and after that check on it you want to give it a turn and you're going to add water so it bring it to a boil and so it can cook also and cook down and then uh, you can add some more like dry ingredients to it if you want and it's a good time to add salt also and taste it. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, you know, on low heat. After a couple minutes. So I'm going to keep it for the next couple minutes. Then I'm going to add the water. Because it's losing a little water also. From my way. I'm not gonna add too much of water, probably one cup of water. I'm gonna leave it on um, medium heat to cook. And then I'm gonna add the salt and taste it. So I added a cup of water and I'm gonna leave it on um, medium heat and cover it to cook down. Let it come to a boil also so the the edos can um, you know cook and soften you know like when you like press on it it's supposed to be soft you know, not too soft but you know cook through it we want this to cook for probably to 10 to 20 minutes and check on it in the you know, in the meanwhile also. Okay, so it's about finished as you can see. It's cooked down. And the gravy is, is thick. And the arrows is cooked. If you want, you can cook it down a little more. Depends how much gravy you want. And you want to taste it also add salt and that's it